Hi everyone and welcome to the next episode of the Explain Surge with our host Dr. Brett Palmer. Today we're going to be talking about HSV1 and HSV2, in other words the, cold, the difference between cold sores and herpes. Uh, so well, what is the difference and is there much of a difference? Well in reality not really. Uh, cold sores and genital herpes are caused by the same uh, virus, uh, the herpes simplex virus HSV. Uh, and you can get HSV1 uh, and you can get HSV2. Uh, so HSV1 prefers to be around uh, the oral mucosa or the mouth, and that is called uh, cold sores, uh, what we call in English cold sores. Uh, but uh, herpes uh, around the genitals can be HSV2, and that prefers the genital mucosa or around the genital area. And so we have different terms. Uh, genital herpes, uh, which carries a lot of um, uh, shame and guilt and judgment, and uh, cold sores, which tends to be just uh, cold sores and no one really cares about this. So why is there so much uh, shame and suffering associated with uh, genital uh, herpes? Well. You could argue that it's uh, to do with our culture. We are not really open uh, to talk about sex and sexuality. And so in the English language, um, if someone with cold sores uh, kisses someone on their genitals and passes cold sores onto the genitals, cold sores become gentle herpes. It's as if the British have some kind of hang up about sex. I know, who would have thought? So. HSV1 and HSV2, what is the real actual difference? Well, if you looked at the viruses, the actual virons themselves side by side, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. But then again, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between HSV and the chickenpox virus. They all look, a diff they all look the same and they all come from uh, the same class of herpes family. Uh, entitled the human herpes viruses, uh, for which there are quite a few, but we'll just concentrate on those three. So human herpes uh, virus type one is HSV type one, also known as the cold four virus. Human herpes virus type two, also known as HSV two, is the genital herpes. Human herpes virus number three is VZV, also known as the chickenpox virus, which also causes shingles. So. What has all this got to do with uh, you and uh, whether you've got cold sores or genital herpes? The treatment is exactly the same. It's a cyclovir. Uh, now, admittedly, if you've got um, a small little sore on your lip, you use uh, a cyclovir cream, um, uh, but you can use uh, tablets as well. Weirdly enough, I think it's more of an English thing because if you was German, for example, and you had uh, cold sores and you went to the doctor, uh, there's no such word as cold sores. They just call it all herpes. Uh, and so when I'm giving a diagnosis of herpes to someone who's German, uh, especially if you're gentle herpes, it's actually quite a relaxing experience because they just turn around and say, well, yeah, it's herpes. Yeah, uh, you can get herpes around the mouth and you can get herpes around the genitals. So in that respect, uh, the German language seems to deal with herpes a bit more honestly. Uh, it's like, so what, uh, you've got something which 90% of the population will get by the time they're 50. Yep, you heard it right. 90% of the population will carry the herpes virus in them when they get to the age of uh, 50. In terms of facial um, uh, cold sores, the vast majority of cold sores is caught before the age of sexual maturity uh, and usually when you're a baby as well. And so if you're concerned about uh, do I have herpes, should I go and get tested? If you don't have any sores, don't get tested. Forget about it. If uh, anyone in your family uh, has cold sores, um, and be it mum, dad, brother, sister, uh, chances are you too will carry the herpes virus. But if you don't express it in terms of uh, uh, cold sores or um, herpes sores, then don't worry, do not get a blood test because a blood test will tell you whether you've got herpes or not, although you can get a few false, uh, quite a few false negatives with it. Um, but it's not going to tell you when you caught it. It's not going to tell you where it is because although I've been talking about cold sores, HSV1 around the mouth and HSV2 genital sores around the genitals, in reality, you can get both sores in both places. You can get herpes type one uh, on the genitals as well as the mouth and herpes type two on the mouth on the genitals. And you can also get both in the same place as well. So don't bother getting a blood test. Uh, go um, and only get a PCR test, which is a swab test, uh, if you're actually expressing um, sores around, uh, for example, the genitals. Okay, on that note, have a great time and uh, see you in the next episode. Take care, bye-bye.